Jonathan Harris was born on November 6, 1914 as Jonathan Daniel Karasukin in Bronx, New York City. His father Sam Karasukin was employed in Manhattan's Garment District, while his mother Ginny Karasukin was a homemaker. He had two sisters named Aline and Rosalie. Harris grew up in a six-story tenement because he was born into an improvised Russian Jewish immigrant family. They rented some portion of their home in order to make extra money. Jonathan had to sleep on chairs in order to give his room to the boarders. His parents made sure that he received proper education despite them struggling. They also took him to see Yiddish plays and encouraged him to listen to operas on the radio. At the age of 12, he was working in a pharmacy as a stock boy so that he could help his parents financially. He detested his Bronx accent. By the time he was in high school, he started watching British movies in order to cultivate an English accent. In high school, he developed interests in the Latin language, Shakespeare, Romantic poetry, and archaeology. While he was studying in James Monroe High School, from where he graduated in 1931, he developed a love for acting. In the following year, he and his siblings legally changed their surname to Harris because they considered their family name unpronounceable. His father had disagreed with the change. He enrolled in the Fordham University in 1932 with a new surname. He graduated from there with a degree in pharmacology in 1936. Thereafter, he began his career working in different drugstores. Jonathan Harris got his first acting job in 1939 with a fake resume. He joined a repertory company at the Mill Pond Playhouse in Long Island, New York, and went on to appear in 16 plays for them. The Heart of a City 1942 was where he made his Broadway debut as he appeared in a leading role. He was required to speak with a Polish accent since he was essaying the role of a Polish accent. Since he was clueless about the Polish accent but wanted to do the part, he made one up, claiming that his Polish immigrant parents spoke like that. After spending the war years entertaining American troops in the South Pacific, Harris starred alongside Marlon Brando in the play A Flag is Born, 1946. It was followed by production like The Madwoman of Chalet, 1948 to 1950, The Grass Harp, 1952, Hazel Flag, 1953, and The Tea House of the August Moon, 1953 to 1956. He moved to Los Angeles in 1948. He debuted on television, appearing in one episode of the Chevrolet Tele-Theater in 1949. It was followed by Lights Out, two episodes, 1950-1951, Studio One, four episodes, 1951-1957, Craft Television Theater, one episode, 1958, and Zorro, three episodes, 1959. Harris started voice acting in films in 1959. He recorded for the role of Birds in the Walt Disney production Alice in Wonderland. In 1953, he made his first appearance on the big screen in Botany Bay, in which he played the role of Tom Oakley. When he was cast in the mystery television show The Third Man in 1959 was his first break. He appeared in 72 episodes as the dour and humorless assistant, Bradford Webster. Concurrently, he also worked in other TV productions, including 40 episodes of The Bill Dana Show, 1963-1965. The biggest break of Harris's acting career came in 1965 when he began to star as Dr. Zachary Smith in Lost in Space. He worked in 83 episodes of the series that ran until 1968 and established him as a plumy villain and cult icon. After Lost in Space concluded, the character actor continued to appear in various TV productions, including series like Uncle Croc's Block, 1975, and Space Academy, 1977. When he stopped enjoying playing the villain on screen, he decided to change the course of his career. Harris became a successful voice artist, working in nine episodes of the animated series Battlestar Galactica in 1978. He spent the remainder of his career providing voiceovers for numerous productions, including animated films, television series and commercials. His last work as a voiceover artist was in the series Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, 2000. Harris married his high school lover, Gertrude Begman in 1938, and had one child Richard who was born in 1942. His wife died at the age of 93 due to natural causes. His hobbies were listening to opera, 
watching movies, gourmet cooking, traveling, reading and spending time with children. Harris died of a blood clot in the heart while receiving therapy for a chronic back problem at a hospital on November 3, 2002. He was interred in Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery, Westwood Village, Los Angeles. In late 2002, Harris and the surviving cast of the television series Lost in Space were preparing to film a movie titled Lost in Space, The Journey Home for NBC. However, the project could not be completed after Harris's death. Director John Ward Law wrote an additional scene for the film The Bolt Who Screwed Christmas, which included Harris' final performance before his death. This was a tribute to Harris.